Winona State's two-week quarantine period came to an end this week after a COVID-19 outbreak in the college town. Today, our Zach Fuller spoke with two students about what that was like and how it's all going now as the campus and town move forward. Here I am at Winona State University where everything now looks converted and ready for the pandemic. Quarantine is over. It was tough sometimes just trying to really quarantine ourselves, but um, but we made it work and <laughs> we're still here, we're still rolling. After Winona State locked itself down for two weeks following a spike in cases across town shortly after the beginning of the fall semester. I didn't see it coming, honestly. I was a little surprised. So it's not like it was a huge surprise for me, but again, I, I don't know when these calls are gonna be made. So I was just like, oh, okay, well. Just have to adjust and I'm sure everyone just had to adjust. Adjusting while trying to keep themselves busy while not able to get out on the town. I did ab workouts right here on the floor, right back here, and just to give myself little breaks and I'd go, like I'd attend all my classes. I just kind of set a time schedule for myself throughout the day. Moving to strictly online classes proved to be more difficult than first thought. Overall, I think it just, I thought, you know, maybe others thought this too, is maybe at first we were thinking it might be easier because you don't actually have to be there. It's less strain on your schedule. But what I'm finding personally, and then when I've talked to a few other colleagues, is it's actually more difficult because it puts more of the responsibility on you. Now the quarantine is over, students are happy to be out of the house. It was really nice just walking on campus uh, yesterday. It was really nice outside, pretty beautiful. Um, it was nice to see some of my uh, student fellow colleagues again and my professor and whatnot, even with the masks on, have some sense of normalcy. That was nice. Zach Fuller, KTTC News. And Winona had to get creative with class spaces using tents, as we saw, as makeshift classrooms. We'll be hearing more from our Campus Diary students throughout the semester as we follow their lives on campus during the pandemic. Be sure to check them out at kttc.com slash campus diaries. And if you're a student interested in joining our news team for the special coverage, email us at campus at kttc.com.